Hey guys, I haven't created a video in a while and um, I was sitting here working on a project that's due Saturday. Yes, I am a terrible procrastinator. Um, so one of the things I wanted was I wanted my own motif. I knew that there was a way and I am constantly forgetting how and where it's at. So after looking through all of the built-in help and searching help and searching videos, which I did not find a video, I thought I'd make one. So um, I want to get started. This is how to create a motif for you to use in my motifs in your software. So you can use this as any type of motif fill, line, whatever you want to do. Um, I do want to apologize. I do have COVID right now, so I may sneeze, cough, have any kind of fit. So if I do, I apologize. Um, but let's get started. So the first thing I'm going to do is I'm going to go ahead and double click on my mo my Sonet um, icon and I'm going to go to tools. This is one of the reasons I can never find this. It is in the draw and paint no, it is not in your typical digitizing or such editor. So we're going to open the draw and paint window. Okay. Once that's open, I've already set my canvas to, um, 40 by 40. So, um, you can do resize canvas and that's going to allow you to change that. But I do want a small canvas because again, this is a motif stitch. So I want it to be pretty small. Okay, so I'm going to click on the paint tab and I have already gone out and grabbed a image of an apple, which is what I wanted um, in the um, off the Internet. I just used a screenshot, so I'm going to paste it in there. <coughs> so we're going to decide what size we want. Um, I kind of like this size. I might make it just a little bit larger and I'm going to center it up. So my grid size for uh, reference is 10 millimeters. So this is going to be just a little less than 20 millimeters, which is going to be the size that I want for what I'm doing. I am creating a quilt block fill. So I want my stitch to be kind of big. If you wanted to do this as something else, you might want to make it smaller. Okay. I'm going to go back to the draw window. So I have to paste an image in the paint window, but I have to create my motif in the draw window. So make sure that you click on the paint window, you paste or load your background image, and then click back to the draw window. This is very important. You cannot create a motif in paint. So see, this is what we want to see, this motifs and stitches. Okay, so the next part is basically like your standard old digitizing only we're technically drawing. I am a terrible freehand drawer on using a mouse. So I'm going to not do that one. I'm going to use point draw. Now the first mistake I made was um, I started here because I wanted them to connect over here. I wanted to come them to connect basically at the center and go to the next one. But what I forgot is, is these are, these are stitches. So they begin and end at specific spots. So if I start here and I end here, and if I drag it over, it's just going to lay it on top of each other. Uh, maybe it'd be fun if we did that. So you could see, maybe we'll do that at the end, like bloopers. Maybe we'll do that. Okay. So this might end up being a blooper anyway, who knows? <laughs> I am yet, I honestly, I am videoing this on the get goes or on the fly. So <laughs> let's see what happens. Okay. So the theory is, is you want to start a little outside of it, but you, it needs to be a continuous line. So in order to do that with the apple, I originally wanted it the line up here, but I really don't think that's going to work. I think we're going to have to do it down here. The reason being is I need it to connect properly. So we're going to kind of line up 
where we think that this line goes because we want this line to be straight. Okay, so let's think about this. All right, we're going to try this win or lose. Okay, and we want it out past the farthest edge. So we're going to come out here. Let's just go here. We're going to get it in place. Okay, so there's my first point. It's done. Okay, so my lines. So we're going to straighten out my line. Maybe? Okay, we're going to skip off the bottom. So we're going to go as far in here. Okay, and I'm going to place my point. Oh, and I'm going to make that a square point. Okay, then I'm basically going to start placing my points around my apple. And remember, these are all stitches, and this is tiny, so it's, it's, I don't know, we'll see what it turns. There's a lot of curves for a tiny apple. Um, straight lines would probably give you the best look, but again, I'm not really wanting anything straight. I want an apple. Darn it. I don't want that apple to be mine. Okay. So I'm going to come in here like this, and then I'm going to drop down level with that other one. Okay, I probably should have totally moved my grid so I could see better. Okay, and I'm going to come out to this next one. Okay, so lo and behold, I have got the perimeter and the extra on my apple. Um, I will say that the left side is definitely further away than the right, but at this point, I don't care. Okay, <coughs> sorry guys. So we're going to right click. And we're going to do finish line. All right, this is our apple. So we can edit the points if we so choose to kind of smooth them out, make them a little bit crisper. I think that was the only area I saw. Okay, once you're happy with it, finish edit points, right click to finish edit points. Okay, I see where there's a little bit. Okay, but we're good. All right, so now we're going to go to Motif and Stitches, and we're going to click on that. And we have Insert Motif and Export to My Motifs. Look at that. This is where we want to go. So I'm going to click on Export to My Motifs. Now, it'll do its little thing, and it'll say Motif has been added. Yay! Now, here's the downfall. You don't know what it looks like until you go try to use it. So we're going to say, okay, and I'm going to jump to um, my embroidery module. So this is just, I just had an open window. So this is my Sonet embroidery and I'm on the create tab because remember I wanted to do this as a fill for a quilt block. So I have fill quilt block with inner embroidery and we're going to say next. I have my size already and it's 200 by 200. I'm going to say next. I'm going to open my embroidery and I'm going to go get my September block of the month. And there's my thing. Now you might know why I wanted the apples. So I'm going to say next. Ooh, a crayon would have been cute. Okay, that's okay. We did an apple. All right, I'm going to set my margin and I don't want it too big. I need to. Okay, I'm going to say next. All right, motif is what I'm going to choose. Options. And I'm going to choose my motifs, my motifs again, and pattern. Okay, so there was my first one, total fail. Here's my new one. Oh, do you guys want to see what the total fail looked like? Okay, see how there's only one line on this side because I thought I was being clever? Um, so I'll show you what it looks like. I'm going to say okay. And it literally just stacked on top of each other. So I was like, oh, well, that's okay. I'll just give it um, spacing. So I went ahead and did 50 on horizontal and 50 on vertical and said, okay. And this is what it turns out like. So now you get to see where that line comes in. So this is that side line that I created and it did not work. 
work. So this was an absolute fail. Kind of cute though. It does look like an apple. But uh, so we're going to go and we're going to do options again. And we're going to choose that correct apple. So not that one, but this one. Hmm. All right. Spacing. Again, I'm going to change, keep the spacing. Okay. Let's do no spacing. Let's see what happens just to see and say, okay. Oops. Forgot. Zero and zero. Okay. Oh my gosh, guys. <laughs> ah, that looks pretty darn good. Okay. So <coughs> I'm pretty impressed. All right. So let's go back to options. And let's actually, let's change this to motif two. use this one. This is how I get it to center, don't I? I just do this. I don't know why. I mean, I, it works for me. Um, oops, my motifs, my motifs again, get yeah, my apple. Okay, spacing, we're going to do 50. I always like gaps, 50. I'm going to center. All right, let's see what it looks like. Okay. <laughs> um, I'll be darn. That's pretty cute, but that's not what I wanted. Okay. I don't know why it does this. Spacing again. Vertical spacing. 50. Now let's try it. Nope. Okay. <laughs> I am having the devil of a time today. Back. Let's uncheck that. And that changes to 50. Vertical. No, not vertical. Delete. Horizontal. 50. There we go. I'm going to blame this on COVID brain. There's what I want. Oh my gosh. It's so cute. I love it. So this is how you create a motif from scratch. So I have now created my own motif. I'm going to say finish because that is exactly what I want. Oh, that's cute. I can't wait to stitch this out. I love this. Okay. Um, ignore all that over there. Um, so file new window real quick. I want to show you what else you can do with your freshly created mo motif line. Like canvas. Oh my goodness. What number? I'm going to have to look. Let's do I'm going to my 120. Okay. All right. So now anytime, let's go to, did they get rid of, you know, some days, frame. What am I looking for? I'm looking for border. Do we not do that anymore? It's up here. Border options. That's what I want. Border. Okay. Like I said, guys, I am like totally out of it. Okay. Motif line. And then where's my options? I am having such a hard time today. Okay, so I click properties. No. What the heck, guys? My brain is like totally not functioning or something. Border options, add out the gate, which I don't want to do. Stitch type. Oh my gosh, guys. This is what I'm talking about. Okay. Stitch type motif line. <laughs> so, okay. <laughs> my motifs. Apple. Okay. Yay. Here's my apple. Say okay. I now have my border options and apply. There is my apple border. Oh my gosh. So cute. I love my apple border. I really do. That is so cute. And then you could put like a school picture or something in there. Super cute. Okay. So anyway, guys, you could make bats and ghosts for Halloween. You could make a candy cane or a Santa hat or whatever you can. A Christmas tray is the one that they did in the tutorial that was built into the software. Um, it was really hard to find on the software guys. I literally went to the internet and found it and it was pulled it up, um, through my Sonet. But when I was trying to find it in the help, it would not pull up. Um, which is why I made the video for you guys. So now you don't need that silly old thing. 
Okay, guys, I like it. I think it turned out good. That's how you can use it. That's how you can create it. I hope you enjoyed this video um, because I looked. I couldn't find it. If you guys find another video, I'm glad. <laughs> I wish I would have been able to find it instead of having to create my own. But I love it. I think this is exactly what the look I was going for. And you now know how to create a motif in, or motif in the software. You guys have a great day and I hope to be posting more. Like I said before, my son is now back in school. It's just every time I turn around, something else is happening. So have a good day, guys. Bye.